While still in the National Stadium, a group of local producers make a film about it before it's torn down. Ended up focusing on the struggles of the local football scene instead. Now the result, a film called The Kalang Wave, which premieres on Sunday night. Hasnita A. Majid files this report after a sneak preview. The cheers, the jubilation, familiar scenes at the National Stadium, but not all the time. And this intrigued a group of young filmmakers. We want people to, to look at themselves in the stadium because we support the Lions only when they, only when they, they win, when they trump other teams. But when they are losing, our stadiums are empty. You know, what does that say about us? And to help them find answers, the producers sought the views from familiar faces in local football, including soccer stars such as Fandi Ahmad. Securing interviews for the film was just one of the challenges faced by the team. They also found it hard to find footage of all matches held at the stadium. There is no footage in Singapore with regards to the last uh, few years, uh, last 20 years, maybe. Uh, and that's terrible for us because we're trying to do a documentary about the last 20 years. So we had to go out there, we had to find fans who had it. And when they did have it, it's corroded, it has fungi, we had to clean it up ourselves. Another setback, the lack of funds. We actually face a lot of difficulties getting the financial backing to do the film. So um, because of the perception that a documentary is supposed to be this way. But at the end of the day, um, that challenge itself proved to us that actually even spur us further to, to finish the film and prove that um, we can actually finish it. And that process took them two and a half years with some support from Singapore Discovery Centre and Cathay Picture House. The film will be the only local production to be featured alongside five foreign films as part of the Picture House's first anniversary celebrations. Tickets are sold at the Picture House box office.